Hi, my name is Skevi Constantinou. I am an executive assistant and founder of the PA Way. The PA Way is a lifestyle platform aimed to inspire, empower, and motivate assistants to be the best that they can be. Um, and I like to get involved with the um, assistant industry, and I've spoken on various panel discussions and guest speaking nationally and internationally. And here I am today to present to you my top 10 tips. So my first tip is to network because networking is your net worth. You need to go outside of your comfort zone and network and the people that you meet are the people who will add value and share experiences. So my second tip is to understand that it's only information. So as assistants, we do get stressed with work and our personal lives and more, but we need to understand that it's only information. We are capable of dissecting and processing the information and understanding that with our skill set as assistants, we are actually able to use it to our advantage. So my third tip is to check your sent items folder that your boss or executive um, has first thing in the morning. So this will help you understand what your executive has done whilst you were at home, see what needs to be action and how they've replied. So that first thing in the morning when you come in, um, you'll be able to follow up these points and see if there's a, um, a call to action that you need to discuss with your executive. So my fourth tip is learn the art of saying no. So as assistants, we fall into the tendency of wanting to please all the time and saying yes, but it will have a detrimental effect on us and our well-being. So saying no allows you to push back politely and to give yourself some freedom to access the situation. Can you do the task? Do you need extra resources? Do you need help? It's all good us looking really busy, but it's not actually a badge of honor. So you will burn out. So you need to master the art of saying no where applicable. <laughs> My fifth tip is understanding why Debbie in pensions is lethal. So what I mean by that is office gossip is the worst. Um, you always have that one person who comes over to sabotage somebody in the office. Um, it's nice to interact with fellow assistants and fellow colleagues, but you need to remain professional. And don't be unkind. It's not cool. Just be nice um, and try to um, stay out of office politics as best as you can. So my next tip is I would like to encourage you to set yourself on fire, not literally, but understand you are an all-star assistant and you wear an invisible cape when you enter the office. Um, I want you to understand that you can be your biggest cheerleader and level up. Uh, we can always be better, we can inspire change, we can be strategic. So it starts start to ignite your skill set to be the all-star assistant that you are. So the next tip is to understand that there is no plan B. So I want you to think about what your goals and aspirations are, stick to plan A, how to level up, create a plan of action and accelerate yourself and be your biggest cheerleader, which will make you be an awesome assistant. The next tip is to share knowledge, which I think is really important. So share best practice with other assistants who may be starting out, learn from experienced and more senior assistants who can teach you tricks that you can't learn on a course. These are just life lessons and everyone has something to offer. So the next tip is me, myself and I. So understand that you are your best friend and the best assistant that you are. 
but you need to invest in yourself. So the most important days in your life are the day is the day that you were born, and the second is the day when you find out why. So never stop learning and enhance your skill set. And the final tip is be the CEO. Think like your executive, think like a boss. So not only for your boss, but for yourself, be grateful to the things that you have in life, but start to attract a positive mindset. You reap the rewards in abundance. I always think my boss is a person as well. So they started somewhere and how you make these decisions will be based on how you think when presented with the opportunity.